closing. In today's video, we're reviewing a 2000 Honda S2000, and this vehicle's been supplied to us today by Monocati Auto Sales, located up in Chesterfield at 94 in New Haven Road. Now, let me just say, this vehicle is kind of the other vehicle I would have chosen to take instead of my Corvette, because these cars are just that good. And honestly, from year to price point, they're actually even more expensive than a C6 Corvette. And that is because of the incredible racing heritage and everything else that goes along with these cars. They honestly are some of the best driving experiences you can ever get from the factory because they are super tight. They're very bouncy. They do actually have a lot of racing components from the factory on this car to make it handle and drive as well as it does. The steering is super tight. The driving position is nice and comfortable. You have no, very little blind spots in this car. It's a very tight, small car. And it's actually mid front engine. So the entire front engine assembly is completely behind the front axle. It kind of gives you that mini Viper look to this car where it has the short rear end and long front end proportions. That's what allows it to get that perfect 50-50 weight ratio. Since this is an early 2000, it has the F20 2.0 liter instead of the later year edition that started in 2004 to I believe 08 or 09 with 2.2 liter. Either way, both engine configurations have about the same horsepower. You're looking at about 240 to 245, and they don't make a lot of torque. I think it's, I'll put the numbers at the bottom here. I don't really remember, but these cars do have your typical Honda VTEC, where when you get up to the higher RPM ranges, you do make all that power, which is really cool. It's a really fun feature to have in a car that's naturally aspirated because it almost gives you that feeling of being in a force inducted car where you have a different power range within the RPM. I'm not starting off in my usual spot that I would. Still get on the freeway just the same. We're actually getting on the on-ramp right here. Like I said, absolutely zero body roll. This car is bone stock. It, I know it doesn't have anything outside of some tires and wheels. Honestly, it, it feels so good. Let's see what we got. really 
responsive and really quick. For the most part though, everything else is pretty manual, pretty bare bones. There's no controls to unlock or lock the doors, so that's all manual. You can reach both sides from one seat though, because this car is not that big, like I said. I don't feel like I'm cramped in here. I'm 6'2". I feel like I have plenty of room inside of this vehicle without being cramped. I think that has a lot to do with the fact that the steering wheel is like right up against the dashboard. And I don't know how they figured this out, but there is such an amazing driving position in this car without being able to adjust your seat up or down or having being able to move your steering wheel at all. I mean, it's, it's stuck in place. I, I honestly see why people like these cars. It's only 240 horsepower, and that acceleration was exhilarating enough for me to have fun with it. This car has been on their website for a while, available for sale. I honestly can't believe it has sat as long as it has because it is a 22-year-old car and it does not drive or feel like you're driving a 22-year-old car. And I gotta be honest, this is the first time I'm actually driving an S2000. The legendary shifter is living up, living up to its name. It is the most amazing, short, notchy, easy to shift vehicle I've ever driven. And it even has the push down to go over to reverse slot which is how I think it should be. It's more of a safety feature than just pushing harder to go over to reverse. I know some vehicles have lockouts, but I have heard of vehicles breaking through that lockout. Let's try that acceleration thing one more time. Down shifting in a fourth, 5,500 RPM. Third at 7,000. because you're closer to the road, you can see the road moving by you faster. It always feels like you're going faster. So you don't have to actually be going fast to feel fast in this car. It kind of takes away from the uh, things you shouldn't be doing, I guess, as much. The horsepower doesn't translate to how fast you feel like you're going. When people do boost these cars, which these cars are very, very good with power adders as such as superchargers, turbochargers, when you make an additional 150, 200 horsepower, these cars deal with it pretty well. You can get a pretty big tire under the back end of this car. It deals well with a lot of that. You have plenty of room in the engine bay for turbos or superchargers because you only have a two liter up there and it's a very long nose. Like I said, I'll show you guys right here how much room you have under the hood. For being a convertible too, you don't get a lot of wind noise up top, which I'm kind of surprised about. I figured you'd get tons. Honestly, I have, I have no idea how it is this quiet in here. It's amazing. My Miata, granted it was four years old. Actually, it was only four years older. <laughs> this car is so much newer looking than that car. This is the first year this car came out though. This car is every piece of definition of a sports car though. These seats hug you really well. You could be a little bit bigger than me and still fit pretty nicely in this car. Down just feels so good. See how she feels at lower lower speeds. Amazing. It is it's such an easy car to drive and enjoy. But unfortunately, our ride's coming to an end. We're rolling up here to uh, the dealership to drive another car. So guys, I'd like to thank you so much for watching this video. I really enjoy driving cars like this. And if I can get feedback from you guys, subscribers, likes, whatever you guys want, make this an interactive channel, you know? Tell me what you want to see, what you like, what you don't like. I'd love to hear back from you and I would take your feedback into consideration and influence some of the decisions I make. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Thank you to Monocati Auto Sales for giving us this vehicle today. Peace out, keep turning those gears.